APC people don't finally use their hand to give Peter be the president elect. For this video, I know they talk because they sweet me. Watch the video. <laughs> They keep treating Mr. Peter Obi as if he were the president-elect, exactly. holding him to account, asking him questions, telling him to address the people as if he were the pres president-elect. No, the Labour Party presidential candidate, in responding to several allegations levied against him, the latest being his alleged detention in the United Kingdom, stated in a series of tweets that he has lived in a most law-abiding manner all his life on April 12th. The Labour Party announced that Obi was harassed and detained by London immigration officials over alleged impersonation. The party said Obi was questioned for a long time and that it took the intervention of Nigerians for him to be released. Peter Obi in his tweet also stated that although humans make mistakes, he has never knowingly contravened the law, further stating that he is not afraid of the lies and propaganda against his person and that he has always known that the journey to a new Nigeria will be tough. On Monday, while speaking with journalists, Obi stated that he is a committed Nigerian who does not have a dual nationality and who would always put Nigeria first. Whatever happens, we must stay the course because we want to build a new Nigeria. We want a Nigeria where Nigerians be proud to say they are Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian, committed Nigerian. I don't have any dual nationality. So uh, this is my own country. And I've said it that even if there's war outside this country, if I'm outside, I'll come back because it's my country. Knowingly, sadly for him, not knowing that you broke the law when you actually broke it is no defense. And in any case, there are some crimes that are known as all of the above. I mean, I just, I'm sorry. I just. <laughs> Very funny guy, it just finds a way to crack me up because you know the issue is uh, I mean, he did get a lot of responses obviously from the obedience because you know that there are so many allegations about the presidential candidate of the all progressive who is Nigeria's president elect where he is. And I mean, he's responding to another party's <laughs> candidate, but he has not responded to all the allegations that have been levied against. Um, very quickly, the first thing I'll say is that well, I'm glad that um, FFK has finally found his um, legal certificates in good use in terms of trying to investigate and search out and perhaps propose a crime that um, Peter, or Mr. Peter, Obi would have committed to be detained um, to, um, to be detained in the United Kingdom. Having lived in the UK himself and uh, being a lawyer, I would assume that FFK would know the kind of crimes that would and would or have you detained and be released. Obviously not um, 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 trafficking, not carrying of drugs, not murder. So he was being mischievous with that statement. Yes. However, I do also think that he's a bit, he's not very sure who the president-elect is because they keep treating Mr. Peter Obi as if he were the president-elect, exactly. holding him to account, asking him questions, telling him to address the people as if he were the pres president-elect. Where is the person who, as we have said on this show earlier on, is accountable to the Nigerian people because he's now a state actor? Mr. Peter Obi is as Nigerian a citizen as any one of us. The good thing about him is that he seems to hold himself accountable to the people by speaking regularly to the people, usually not to a proxy or through a release statement. And so when we ask questions like this, it's actually for me kudos to the man that he is, that people feel that he's been so transparent that he can ask him anything and he's able to respond. Yes. I believe that the questions that FFK should pose should be to the president-elect on questions around allegations that have been made about his drug trafficking history, allegations that have been made concerning um, the recent passport, his Guinean passport, and to remember that he is the one that's accountable to Nigerian, pe to Nigerian people. Absolutely. Well, I've gotten to a point where I, my thick skin is struggling uh, to stay on my body because some of the things that the likes of Femi Fanikadi have said, I just begin to wonder, how did we get here? But when you look at the trajectory, when you look at the history of some of the things that the likes of Femi Fanikadi has said, you will not be surprised because if a man speaks from both sides of the mouth, uh, 2011, you hear what they said. I think Nigerians just have to wake up to the fact that there are certain people that we should never, ever take seriously or listen to. That is the bottom line. Yes.